Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to create this delicious background in Adobe Illustrator. And we're gonna start with a new document, Ctrl N, Command N. I'm gonna size this document with this web size 1280 by 1024. Click Create. And first of all, let's cover this with the rectangle. So grab the rectangle tool and cover the entire artboard. Render the border to the none and double click on the field to bring up the color picker. And in this field, I'm gonna type the color of my background. So F B C eight seven zero and click OK. So far so good. Let's lock it on the layer and create a new one. On the layer 2, we need to create another rectangle, but smaller. So grab the rectangle tool and click to bring up the rectangle dialog box. Set the width value to 52 and height value to 52 as well. So we basically create a square. Click OK. Um, give it any color. Then, with this square selected, nudge it to the bottom. Navigate to the Windows Graphic Style. So go to the Windows Graphic Style to bring up the Graphic Styles panel. Or click Shift F5. So, with this Graphic Style, within the Graphic Style panel, locate the Graphic Style Libraries menu. Click on it to bring up the menu. Go to these additive styles. Once you open additive style panel, hold Alt or Option key and click on this grid for small objects, like so. So we add two Transform effects with one click. Navigate to the appearance panel and let's change this transform effect. Here they are. If you can find your appearance panel, go to the Windows appearance or Shift F6 on your keyboard. So select this, go to transform and first thing first, let's increase the number of copies. So to cover all entire the ground okay and also I want to increase the horizontal move horizontal move value to 85 pixels click OK now let's open the second transform panel and here I also gonna increase the number of copies Check preview and also increase the uh, size of vertical move value to 85 as well. So negative 85 pixels. Click OK. Now let's rotate this original rectangle that controls the appearance of all of these guys to 45 degrees. So hold shift and rotate it at the angle of 45 degrees. So you see it now, all of your squares change its appearance, change its angle, and I'm gonna navigate to Effect Transform and create one more duplicate. Let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform, yes, apply new effect, and in Open, panel we need to set horizontal move value to 42.5 which is basically half of the distance from this center to this center and vertical value to negative 42.5 which is also half of the distance check preview all Yes, of course, we need to set the number of copies to 1. Click OK. 
So now one this original square controls all the appearance of these guys that color and even spread out to the top to the right. So let's apply a gradient. So in order to work as the waffle, we need to apply the gradient. So go to the gradient panel and apply the full gradient. Then change the direction of your gradient, I mean angle, to negative 90 degrees. Then with your black gradient stop selected. Double click on it. Then go in open panel, go to the top right, the very top right, and choose RGB. Locate the hexadecimal field here. Delete all zeros and go with this number. So F9 B F six zero. Click enter to apply changes. Double click and do the same with the white. And of course this time we need to set E zero eight B one F click enter to apply the changes. So far so good looks very promising as you see. But let me a bit move it off my background. Let's add the chocolate here. And first of all, I'm gonna grab the pencil tool and draw some kind of wavy line here. By the way, guys, my pencil tool is set to smooth. Let's add the color and open the color picker in the hexadecimal field, set a color. And this color should be 1C0200. Click OK. So far so good. Let's navigate to the border and introduce the border. Go to the stroke weight and set it to 62 points. Pretty large. Then go and add the gradient to this border. Then click on this icon to align the gradients across the border. And once you align the gradient, let's change it, let's customize it. So double click on the gradient, stop, and in the hexadecimal value we need to set on the left 000, zero, zero which is black, and on the right we need to set to 4, OA, O6. So far so good, but I believe we need to reverse the gradient in this case. Yeah, we need to reverse the gradient. Now grab the width tool and with the width, let's change the width a bit. So increase it here. I also want to increase it here. A bit, but uh, decrease it here, decrease here, and decrease here. So looks good. Let's make a duplicate. Control C, Control F. Render the border of your duplicate to known. With the fill selected, let's go to the default gradient. Click on this chevron on the gradient panel and locate your black and white gradient. Set the 
angle to 90 degrees so your white should be on bottom then go to transparency panel and set the blending mode to screen to render black color to transparent then set the opacity to 20 and last but not least let's go to the gradient and push the midpoint to 65 percent this point is this diamond uh, shape icon uh, very nice but guys we forget one very important scene we need to also push the midpoint of our gradient that are uh, that is on the stroke so let go to this gradient you see this midpoint now it's location at 50 degrees the location of midpoint by the way is here you can see it at very bottom of your gradient funnel and we need to set it to 31 degree 31 percent of course you see 31 percent click ok to apply the changes looks very nice uh, guys duplicate this layer on top this with the highlights swap fill and stroke so now it doesn't have stroke and i also want to lock all the backward layers so we now work only with the layer on top grab the scissor tool click c and um, start here with this anchor point on the top left and slice this anchor point go here on the bottom and slice this anchor point as well go here and slice this anchor point, this anchor point, this anchor point, and this anchor point. I hope you got this pattern. What anchor points I slice it. So sl delete this, this, and okay. Now uh, select these three objects. Uh, looks good. Let's go to the stock profile. It's on top on our tools. Uh, transform panel I'm sorry and set the width profile to one number one increase the stock width brilliance and last but not least tweak with the opacity because now I'm I'm not, I'm not pretty sure that it should be at least we can uh, always uh, grab the shift uh, V uh, grab the width tool and uh, play with the width. So hold Alt, uh, hold Alt, and delete all the widths. Modify these widths as well. I just go to the center and delete all of these uh, widths on the bottom, so it doesn't interact uh, with the uh, bottom of this stroke of the original of the first uh, layer. And now uh, play with the value values of uh, opacity. So uh, you have now twenty percent because we uh, it der derives all of this derives from this twenty uh, percent layer, and we can either increase or decrease size. Probably we need to create. A bit larger okay I'm gonna decrease the opacity here to 25% so at last but not least of course we can cover it with something uh, screw, screw with something interesting using the symbols 
but actually we can create a rectangle and uh, with all of these guys selected unlock all of the, of this even the ground uh, use your right mouse button menu and make clipping mask and this is how my friends you can create this delicious background in adobe illustrator i hope you enjoy this tutorial guys do not forget to grab my free simple scores that shows you how to really master symbols in adobe illustrator and become more productive thank you for watching have a great day